Hi everybody, Scott Stanchfield here. Let's continue our layouts example by adding in a slot API based border layout so we can see how we can define our own slot API. To start with, let's just define a composable here that we're going to call border layout. And inside here, he's going to have several slots and a modifier. So we're going to have north, which is going to be a composable function that's passed in. And we're going to pass it a modifier so that it can use that to set up its uh, specific component. And he's going to not return anything. And we're going to make that nullable and say if it's not there, that's fine. Its value is going to be null. So we're going to have that default value there. So let's see, south, east, west, center. Let's go ahead and change these. South, east, west, center. And then let's just add a modifier to this as well so that we can organize ourselves based on whatever the caller wants us to do. So to start with, all of this is going to be inside of a single column on the screen. So we're going to define our column, passing in that modifier so that whatever the caller wanted us to, to set up inside him will be set up. And then we need to set up the north, south, east, west, center, and all that. So the way this, this layout works is that the north and south fill the entire top and entire bottom of the screen. Everything else is in the center. So let's start off by saying north, question mark, dot let. So if we have a north section, then we want to define a, a space for it to exist on the screen. I'm going to use a box as our base user interface component to hold the content at the top. And this is nice because then it restricts that content to inside that box so it won't bleed out. So let's see what this box is going to look like. Let's define a modifier in him. And we're going to say modifier dot fill max width so he's going to fill the entire width of whatever is available and we're going to wrap the content height so whatever height the component wants to be that's the height we're going to use for him and then inside that box i'm going to say it dot actually i'm going to say it paren print there we go and pass in the modifier that we want to send to him ask him to implement. So I'm going to say modifier dot fill max width. So we're telling the component that we're calling, the composable that we're calling, that we'd like him to add this modifier to himself. So he'll fill out this box. Otherwise, he's just going to sit at whatever size he wants to be. That takes care of our north. Let's do our south for the bottom, which is going to be exactly the same. But we're going to have some stuff in the middle that kind of forces it away. So in the middle, there's going to be three components, west, center, and east. So let's define a row for that, because it's just going to be a row representing what's across the screen. And for this guy, we're going to say modifier equals modifier fill max width. So the entire row will fill the entire screen wide. And whoops, we're going to say that we want weight 1 on him. Might as well just collapse these together. Oops. And make that a one float. So what this does is he's going to fill the max width of the screen that we're on. And he's going to set up a weight of one inside that column. What that does is north and south will be laid out. And then whatever space is left over vertically will be given to the row. Which is really what we want to have happen here. Now inside that row, we have three components, west, center, and east. And we're going to do something very similar to this outer structure. I'm going to say west.let. And let's just go ahead and copy this stuff here. It's going to be very similar. And instead of fill max width, we're going to fill the max height and say wrap content width. So we want him just to be as wide as he'd like to be. And then inside there, we're going to ask him to fill max height. Oh, now let's do the same thing for east. And then the center section, you can probably repeat that and just tweak some stuff. The modifier is going to be a little bit different for that. He's still going to have max height, but he's also going to have a weight, just like we did for the row. 
And this says he's going to take up whatever remaining space there is within that row horizontally. Pass that guy in. And then we'll call the it passing in the fill max height. Now keep in mind, each of these its that we're calling are functions. It's just whatever the function for center was once we got rid of the nullability. So this structure here is a very simple slotted API. We're passing in slots for where we want to put things and then just defining a structure for how we want to organize that on the screen. Let's create a little common function, a little helper function for this. So we'll say composable, fun, sample, border layout. And let's just put some stuff on the screen and see how it looks. So we're going to call our border layout and our modifier is going to be Let's put these on separate lines there because we're going to have several pieces. Modifier dot fill max size. There he is. And then we're going to define all our north, south, east, west. And I'm just going to put in text fields for those, or just uh, normal text to display inside. But I'll put them in different colors so we can really see where they're actually uh, expanding. So let's do a north equals text and we'll have the text for him be north and pass in modifier equals modifier dot background and let's give him a background of color blue just so we'll be able to see him whoops uppercase blue is what I wanted and what is he not happy about there did I do the wrong color? Um, I did Android graphics instead. So let me undo him a little bit there. And we'll say color. I'm going to make sure that I get the Jetpack Compose graphics. Color.blue. And that should be happy now. There we go. South, east, west, center. Let's go ahead and put those in there. South, east, west, and center. Let's change the text on these, south, east, west, center. And let's see, so for north and south, let's have them both be blue. East and west, let's have them be green. And the center, let's make it red, just so that stands out there a little bit. And that should take care of everything we need here to display that border layout. Let's make a call for him inside of our main run him up there and now we'll see that things are actually being displayed we can see the north is up there at the top west is on the side east is on the side center is in the center south is at the bottom but notice how they're not expanding to fill anything that's because when we define this let's go down to him we're not using the modifier passed into this lambda. If I expand that a little bit there, we'll notice that there's a lambda, there's a lambda parameter called it, that which is a modifier being passed in. So instead of starting off with a clean modifier here, let's actually change that to it and see if that fixes things. I'm going to say it in each of these. And we'll run that. And now we're seeing a little bit better how things look here. So we have our north, west, east, south, and center is still coming up as just fixed width. It's probably because I specified the parameter wrong when I defined the border layout. So let's look at this. We said for the modifier we pass in, we're just saying fill max height. For the center, it should actually be fill max size because we want to actually fill the entire space that he has available. Let's try running that again. And now we see that everybody's taking up the space that they really should be taking up. So this is a way to, to implement a slotted API for that. This one's a little bit tricky because we're passing in an extra modifier that the caller needs to implement. And if they don't, things might not look quite as expected. 
But that's sometimes a trade-off when you're using a slotted API. Sometimes you have to have the caller and the called slotted API cooperate like that by passing parameters back and forth. Uh, depending on what you're trying to do, that might not always be necessary. Like when we use Scaffold, they've set it up so you don't need to do that. It takes care of it for you. Now, creating a custom layout gives you a little bit more control of this. But in many cases, using a slotted API like this does a great job and gives you the control that you need, and it's usually good enough. 